What's up, fellas? Nordum here, playing some cards and castles. Let's do some tournament mode. So, okay, so this is new. I have not seen this screen before. Do I have Santa's workshop? I think I might have actually missed that castle. I wasn't playing that month. It was kind of awesome. This fencer, I'm not too excited about, but it's a new card. Let's let's just get it and test it out. All right, pirates. Okay, here, I think the meta for tournament, well, there's not really a meta for tournament, but tournament mode is different, and the reason why tournament mode is different is because so many cars have been changed in the last couple of weeks. I'm going to take Warlocks because they have some good range units, and I think range might be strong in general but in tournament mode might be even stronger i don't know if that'll pan out for me um crusaders have very solid beefy guys plus like uh, some good buildings and stuff like they have brewery and they have monk stuff like that which are commons which are good um i'm gonna take a chance here plus i will get to be aggressive anyways going with troll gunner first i should also say that um this, I believe, is Tournament 7, so Tournament 6 didn't upload my last few games because uh, I didn't play for a couple weeks, and then I ended up playing, finishing that off last Saturday, uh, which is the new Tournament Mode Day, and, um, yeah, I think I went, like, 3-3 three and three with that deck, or 4-3 and three or something like that. It wasn't too good. Uh, just first couple of games went well, but that was also because of some new card updates and I just could not compete. I remember getting hosed by range units because I had nothing to stop those range units. Anyways, let's go back to this game. I'm gonna take Bombardment here. I like this card. Uh, I don't think it's super fantastic. I think it's it's like borderline good, but I feel in tournament mode it'll come in handy even more. Swordsman. Some people could say that Bombard is questionable. I chose Bombard because I like Bombard. Not because it was better than the other two cards. Because uh, it's good to have more units. Okay, I'm going to take the Sea Witch here. Because I feel that if my opponent has range units, Sea Witch will be a good trade. Like it can kill something. Okay, they're giving me... I don't understand what this white symbol is. And I don't understand what this Scarab symbol is. Both Demonic Rage and Fencer have it. I think white is for tournament tournament cards or something now? I don't know. But Demonic Rage has it. I didn't think that was a tournament card. Maybe it is now. And this Scarab, I don't know if it's a tournament symbol or if it's for like a new set that hasn't come out yet. Anyways, um, it's either between Fencer or Tower of Fire. Tower of Fire is pretty strong and solid. Fencer I have not played with. I think this arm is like a, if you play Magic the Gathering, it's like a first strike if you kill your opponent, right? I can't remember, and I don't want to touch the card to see it, because I don't know if it'll select that card. I'm going to go with the tower, should I? See, Fencer might be good if I can pump up his damage. Can I pump up his damage? Not too much in these two factions. Pirates have a few stuff. Pump up his damage and attack stuff and one shot them. Defensor would be better in like a Viking deck or even a ninja deck. Or Viking ninjas. There you go. New Viking ninja card. Alright, let's go with Tower of Fire. Too much deliberating. Fireball, I'm not too big a fan of. I'll choose if there's nothing better. I'm going to choose Cycle here. I like Cycle in Torment mode. I feel it can be good. Uh, I don't want to take too many Sea Witches. I'm not going to take the Sabotage just yet. I have, in fact, Cycle of Destruction will take out buildings. I'll take the Guardian. This way I have some beefier units on the board. Troll Gunner. Another Troll Gunner. Okay, got a rare. Going to take the skeleton here. It's the unit. Okay, 
Archer, he's a 1-4 now, instead of like a 1-3, I believe he was before. But it's still too moving to range. This guy still sucks in my opinion. I mean, it might be better if you're playing uh, things like Armory and stuff like that. But we don't have any of those, so see if it is. Even though I don't like that stat line. Okay, there's the new Headless. I missed the old Headless. I'll just say that right now. But other than that, I think maybe we should take him and try him. It's either that or grotesque. Alright. Another betrayal. Nope. Fury of Blades. Deal 3 damage to nearby enemies. Pay 1 gold. Alright. Going for the cantrip. Plus full poison. Swordsman it is. Ah, oh, this is a bad pick. Okay. 30 fighting says inflict minus 2 attack before each attack. Dirty fighting might come in handy. Especially in like swordsmen or something. Or headless. Might let them survive. Troll gunner can use the two. Pillage. Deal three damage to a construct or one damage to a castle. Gain one gold. Pillage will let me ramp up one turn. Pillage is not that strong though. Rat is crap. Never pick rat in tournament. People who pick rat in tournament, I feel so sorry for them. That thing will just die and not do anything. Alright, I'm gonna. I don't like this card. It's disappointed me before, but I'm gonna take the dirty fighting and hope, hope it comes in handy this time. Okay, shaman heal for four now. I think that's double what it did before. So basically, it can save something. Something is dying. We'll save. Uh, let's just go with the Earth Knight though. Because he's a solid guy. Solid dude. Okay, now we got an interesting pick here. Um, now I'm gonna step back and look at the bigger picture. Units I have 11 out of 16, so about halfway through. I think I have a good number there. Um, my curve, just by glancing at it, is definitely in the higher end. I have three six drops, a seven drop, and three eight drops. Under another troll gunner, if I can hold off the early game, those troll gunners will be beastly in the end. But I also need some pressure to to like soften stuff up. If troll gunner is going against a big army by himself, he's not gonna win. But if he's going up against a softened army, he'll just own them. And this Pyromancer, I wish Pyromancer was 4 damage instead of 3, but that might be asking for too much. He does have 3 range now. Okay, I'm going with the Pyromancer. Cheaper unit, get him out. Ooh, this Mercenary is very solid. But I don't have many cheap units. Sea Witch, Skeleton, then Guardian, Pyromancer, Thief. You know what? I think this, as much as I want to take this mercenary, it's probably smarter for me to take the Emperor to scout. Okay, we're taking the Emperor. <sighs> because I feel my early game sucks right now, and I need to get some early game units. Okay, I'm going to take Poison Drake here. This slice and dice, I think, is really only good for the castle, and uh, I don't have stuff to make full use of that. Scout. Okay, now my early game is shored up a little bit more, which is good. Okay, highway robbery is four damage to a unit. All right, let's try highway robbery. Dirty job! Dirty job is there. It's not the poison one, but it can still probably kill a unit for me. Let's go with that. <sighs> thief. Do not like Thief. I'm gonna get myself another dirty job, right? What does Cloak Flame say? 
When your turn begins, deal 3 damage to nearby enemies. Okay, that looks like shit, but it's a cantrip. Zombie, don't pick that card either. That's just like a rat. Maybe if your entire curve was below 5, then you could play zombie, but... Why would you even do that? That's just like hoping, hoping that you win the game instead of actually trying to win the game. And you know what? You probably won a fair amount of times, but you're not going to get into like a 9-0 with zombies in your deck. I mean, like if, if you were going for that type of full rush strategy. I think I'm going with Dirty Job here. It's another removal. Cloak. Cloak is just cantrip. If the other cards were, if Dirty Job wasn't there, I'd probably take the cloak. Okay, here. This is interesting. I think I'm taking Cultist. Range unit. These range units are probably going to be owning melee units. Wall of Fire is another decent pick. I'm going to take Cultist for now. I probably could have picked the uh, other Apprentice Mage guy dude, but Cultus at least has 4th toughness, he can withstand some stuff. Took another like game unit. Got Earth Knights, I'm gonna take Sabotage here. Direct building removal. Okay, now this is an interesting pick. Not too interesting. Acolyte I'm not picking. It's between Darkfire and Fire Drake. Now I like Fire Drake a lot, but Darkfire is a bomb card. And I prioritize bomb cards. Bomb cards are cards I feel significantly impact the board when played. And at the right time, Darkfire will win me the game. Alright. Oops. I will see you guys in the next video.